good morning everyone this is my next class okay in this class i'm gonna show you um, a single idea game a easy a easy positional game without much complications okay this was a game played between anatali carpo and nagel shot in the world championship 1989 d4 knight f6 c4 e6 knight c3 d5 c cross d5 e into d5 okay now white is having a different type of pawn structure black black on it black having a semi open file on e file whereas white having open file on the c file Okay, here in this type of position, white black usually should attack on the king side, and white should attack on the queen side with a minority attack. So, with this example, I'm gonna teach you what is a minority attack and the basics of the keys to attack a minority attack position. Okay, here Carpo played bishop g5, bishop e7, e3 c6 so carpo played bishop d3 knight bd7 now after knight bd7 you can play knight f3 because of there is no bishop g4 so he castled queen c2 after queen c2 rook e8 now black is threatening to play knight f8 and give an extra support to the h7 pawn and also to play bishop g4 h5 to g6 trying to eliminate this good bishop on d3 so after rook e8 white simply cancel the position knight f8 now in view of bishop g4 white simply played h3 Okay, now black is having the problem of bishop on c8. So black uh, will try to maybe exchange with this, uh, like maybe some other variations. Let us see how and what, how and how, what they continues. So g6. So okay, now nickel shot decided that he cannot eliminate this bishop. So maybe he. He tried to restrict the bishop moments by playing e6, g6. Sorry. So here, Kerpa played bishop h6, playing the weakness of the dark squares, and and also in view of maybe knight e6 or bishop f8, trying to extend the bishop. So knight h5. After knight into knight h5, um, now I think the plan looks a little clear. Like black tries to play maybe bishop f6 to g7 or knight g7 to bishop f5, trying to exchange this bishop on d3. Uh, usually in this type of positions, uh, we often see this most like knight e4 sitting knight and maybe push the other knight to f6 why black should uh, seriously try to attack on the king side so let us see rook b1 knight g7 so the idea of knight g7 is pretty clear now he wants to exchange with bishop f5 so oh carpo played b4 simply allows bishop f5 mm. oh no okay fine if bishop f5 i think um, he can simply play b5 and try to weak the c6 pawn b5 for example if you play bishop f5 uh, simply plays b5 Bishop into d3, queen into d3. Mm, 
or maybe in the knight f5 will come so instead of b5 bishop into uh, g7 bishop into t3 king into d3 king into g7 then b5 now um, the pieces uh, black really ha don't have much pieces much minor pieces to attack or king on or king of the white so this minority attack will be very strong after rook c1 knight a4 knight 2 c5 or even a4 this position i think will should be plus equal and a very easy play for white so he decided and uh, play so he played uh, a6 printing b5 and tries to keep some pieces so okay now he took bishop into g7 in view of bishop f5 king into g7 now knight a4 the idea behind knight a4 is very simple he wants to occupy the square of c5 and the other is this knight really doing nothing on c3 the usual plan of this variation will be a4 and b5 which was later improved because um, of the open file of rook on a8 so you can even uh, play with the isolated pawn but black will have some counter chances even in the minority attack so corp was simply waiting for the opponent development of the bishop on c8 so he, he played a more like knight a4 and bishop d6 Okay, now bishop d6 is pretty clear. Uh, he needs to attack on the king side. Uh, maybe he wants bishop moves to somewhere like c7 or b8. He wants to be his queen and tries to exchange this knight like knight f6, knight e6, and knight g5. So here, player knight to c5 and fixing this bishop on c8, not allowing it to move. So if you move this, um, if you attack this pawn with b6, that will be a tremendous weakness of c6 pawn. Sorry, of c6, uh, maybe he can come and rook. He can play knight b4 and rook fc1 and take the c6 pawn. So queen f6 is played. Rook fc1, knight e6. In, instead of um, knight e6, I think if bishop into h3, hmm, interesting. Simply play knight into b7, and the pawn on c6 will go and g5. All the three pawns are very weak now, and you can directly this bishop is under attack. So knight e6, queen d1, h6, a4, rook e7, bishop f1. The reason why am I not explaining? These are very, uh, very common moves. So knight g5, in view of uh, maybe now he can take um, bishop x3. So knight g5 is forced. Queen g5 and queen f3. H5. Mm. After mm, h5. Now black is threatening bishop g4. A very killing move. We might miss most of the time. A more like bishop g4 attack tactical shot. If you take with h into g4. For example, uh, hg4, queen d3, or whatever, he simply plays bishop h2 check, rook h8, and queen h4 will be a check. So, here after h5, white plays, sees this move and played e4. Now he played bishop g4. So, queen can simply move to d3. 
after d3 e into e4 knight into e4 rook into e4 queen into e4 bishop f5 queen f3 bishop into b1 rook into b1 uh, now h4 mm, now i think the move h4 is not that much effective because it could have so simply uh, black simply wants to fix this pawn on g2 uh, this pawn so such that um, he can have, he can have this long diagonal of your bishop maybe some position you can play queen f4 and use this bishop h4 is interesting so bishop c4 sorry for that window um, bishop c4 uh, rook f8 now he wants to activate this rook on b1 so he played b5 c cross b5 a b5 and a5 mm, i think um, yeah you can simply grab with b a6 then there will be uh, position i think it's hardly equal a5 black is now trying to complicate things so b6 force it to play because to activate his bishop and to fix this pawn on b7 or a4 mm. instead of a4 if black wanted he can simply play queen f4 and equal as position there is no way that white can win this from this position so uh, after a4 queen into b7 queen f4 king f1 is the only move because after queen h2 queen h1 and queen and rook is a threat so king h1 queen d4 queen d5 queen f6 rook d1 bishop d4 queen c5 a3 b7 queen f4 bishop b3 queen h2 rook d7 uh, now i think uh, black is having a big problem on f7 um, bishop f6 queen c7 now is supposed to take queen on c7 rook c7 bishop e5 mm, rook c8 see another position or uh, rook on c uh, f8 is permanently locked to to support this pawn not becoming queen so that will be a big weakness if you bring your king and till uh, uh, maybe till this pawn so I think now white is clearly better. I feel black is running short of moves. So g5, king e2. Yes, he's following the same plan. And f3 is a another good move because he wants to fix the spawn on the opposite color squares of the opponent bishop. Uh, see, uh, in the previous classes, what I have said is we have to fix the pawns on the same, we should not fix the pawns on the same color, but now see opponent fixing on the opposite drive. Why? Because there are very few pawns which should not be exchanged. So, f3 is a uh, typical carpo style fg, fg, bishop f4. Now, I think this position is pretty easy to win from here. Okay, after. Um, move 57 uh, white has simply grabbed the spawn uh, now bishop f1 on 61 move king in king g5 bishop g2 king f4 h4 king e3 h5 king f2 bishop h3 king into f3 uh, now i think this is uh, easy for that so after g2 Bishop into g2, king into g2, f4, f, and it will be queen. So this was a very good game.
uh, positional gameplay by Anthony Karapo. I uh, hope you enjoy the game. See you in the next class.